Hi, this tutorial is about configuring our microcontroller clock to 72 MHz. I'm using a blue field with STM32F13CA. And I'm going to do the project in a register based manner. And I'm going to do it in two ways. In the right, we have a standard CMCs, and in the left, we have CMCs with bit field access. In another tutorial in my YouTube channel, you can find that uh, how to create these two projects. So before I start changing registers, I want to talk to you about RCC peripheral in STM32 cube. I mix so I'm going to create a new project type the microcontroller name here stm 32 f 103 c 8 t6 I'm going to choose it from here and next I name the project and yes now cubemx perspectives would be open the first thing that you're going to do when you're going to do a project with the stm 32 cubemx is that you go to system core you go to sys and for debug you're going to choose serial wire this would set pin pr13 and pr14 as swdio and swclk which are the two pins that you're going to connect to your sc link v2 to load the code to your microcontroller or debug the code next you go to RCC and you choose crystal ceramic resonator for HSE high speed external then because I'm going to configure the clock for ADC I'm going to enable something here and in connectivity in USB I'm going to enable here because I want to be able to configure the clock for those two this is clock tree and clock tree shows how clock is provided how it is configured and how it is distributed in our microcontroller I'm going to do the configurations fast then I'm going to explain it to you what I'm going to do two and we have 1.5 here and we have six here now I set uh, the microcontrollers clock to 72 megahertz which is its maximum frequency we have HCL car here with maximum frequency of 72 MHz and it is distributed between different parts of our microcontroller. In the top we have clock to core AHP bus and SD RAM. Next we have clock to system timer, cystic timer and there is a prescaler here that and it is not in RCC registers it is in cystic registers so we're not going to configure this prescaler in this tutorial then we have clock to flash then we have clock for APB1 bus and APB2 bus if you use stm 32 cube MX software you can configure RCC graphically here and stm 32 cube MX would generate a code with HAL library and in HAL functions registers would be changed and that's how peripheral configurations would happen I'm I'm using cube mx now because i want to show you the things that we're going to change in registers so you would be prepared we have a prescaler here to make pclk1 which is clock for apb1 peripherals those are peripherals that are connected to apb1 bus this prescaler is set to 2 because maximum frequency for pclk1 is 36 megahertz and we have to divide hclk by 2 to get this 36 megahertz we have another prescaler here to make pclk2 with maximum frequency of 72 megahertz and it's set to 1 we divide HCLK by 1 to make PCLK 2. We have another prescaler here to make ADC clock. Maximum ADC clock is 14 MHz and we have to at least divide PCLK 2 by 6 to make a clock that is lower or equal than 14 MHz. So I divide PCLK 2 by 6. These are three prescalers that we have to configure in RCC register. HCLK itself is made by dividing CCLK by AHP prescaler i put this prescaler to one because 72 megahertz divided by one would be 72 megahertz for this clock we have three different sources it can be sourced from hsi which is high speed internal which is an rc oscillator inside our microcontroller it can be sourced from hse in blue pill board it can be sourced from hse which is external clock in blue pill board it is an 8 megahertz crystal and it can source from pll pll is something that we multiply clock with pll can be sourced from hsi divided by 2 or hse divided by this prescaler and we can multiply hsi or hse with the, with these numbers that we have here to make a new clock i choose this clock source as PLL CLK and for PLL source I choose HSE this prescaler for HSE I chose it to be 1 so 8 megahertz divided by 1 would be 8 megahertz to multiply HSE with something I choose 9 because 9 times 8 would be 72 and we make the 72 megahertz clock we have a USB prescaler here that is sourced from PLL output and it has to be 1.5 because 
if it's one then uh, usb clock would do 72 megahertz and it's not in the range of 47.88 to 48.12 so we put it to 1.5 so we have a 48 megahertz for usb clock so everything that we configured here we have to do by changing registers value next i'm going to create some files here and you have to do that for both projects first i'm going to create a new header file i am call it system.h in system.h i'm gonna add the device peripheral access layer header file i'm gonna paste the inclusion here in this file i'm gonna add declaration for two functions first x system init and the input argument would be void another function would be x clock in it i'm gonna write these two functions in another file that i'm going to add to source folder i'm going to name it system.c in system.c i'm going to include system.h file then i'm going to add the definitions for those two functions next i'm going to add the inclusion for system.h file in main.c so we can use those functions in main.c file compile the project compile it again and call those two functions here i'm going to do the exact same steps in left project in the left project other than device peripheral access layer header file i add this other file into system.h file and this is a bit description file that i wrote myself this file contains the exact value that we're going to write to bit fields to get our desired configuration you're going to see how i'm going to use this go to system.c file and we're going to start to write our functions the the first thing that we did in cube mx is that we choose serial wire for debug configuration we can do this by changing swj cfg bits in afio map r registers we have to set these three bits to 0 1 0 so jtag would be disabled and sw would be enabled map r register is in afio peripheral and before we use any peripheral we have to enable its clock for that we have to talk a little bit more about rcc peripheral this is reference manual go to 7 open this go to rcc registers and go to rcc registers map we have rcc cr and rcc cfgr register in rcc peripheral for configuring clock these registers are used for example to configure our clock to 72 megahertz then we have rcc cir which is for controlling interrupts it has bits for interrupt flags it has bits for enabling interrupts and it has bits for clearing interrupt flags then we have uh, apb2 rstr and apb1 rstr these bits are for resetting peripherals that are on apb1 bus and apb2 bus resetting a peripheral means that we're going to change its registers value to the state exactly after resetting the microcontrollers it means registers value are going to back to reset value then we have ahb enr apb2 e ENR and APB1 ENR which are used to enable and disable the clocks for peripherals that are on AHB bus, APB2 bus and APB1 bus. We're going to use AFIO peripheral so we have to set AFIO EN bit in APB2 ENR register. For every peripheral we have a bit here. If we set this bit that peripheral clock would be enabled and if we clear this bit that peripheral clock would be disabled. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we have to set AFIO EN so we can use AFIO peripheral. And the last register is BDCR which is for controlling low speed external clock which is used for RTC and we're not going to talk about it in this tutorial so in system init function first i'm going to enable afio clock so i write rcc then arrow operator then apb2 enr for setting a bit we use bitwise and assignment operator with bit mask rcc apb2 enr afio i press control space and i choose afio en for doing the same steps in the left project i write the peripheral name then arrow operator then register name apb2 enr so this register is a union here in the right project the register is a 32 bit but here it's a union after union i put dot i want to access the bits then i put dot then i'm not going to use bitwise operator we can just use assignment operator here i want to set bit afio en i can write one here rcc apb2 enr afio en then i press control space 
AFIO clock, we want to enable AFIO clock. So AFIO clock enable. This is what this description file provided for us. The next thing is that we change SWJCFG bits to 010. In the right project, write peripheral name, then arrow operator, then register name. At first, I'm going to reset all three bits of SWJCFG. For resetting bit, we use bitwise and assignment operator with not of bit mask. AFIO map R SWJ control space SWJCFG, and we reset all these three bits. Then for setting bit, first write peripheral name, then the register name, then we use bitwise or assignment operator with bit mask. Map R SWJ control space SWJ CFG. We wanted to put the value of 010 in these three bits. So we have to set the middle bit, which is bit one. First write peripheral name, then arrow operator, then register name, then dot, then you put bit then the bit that you're going to change it's swj cfg then i put assignment operator we want to write 010 which is 2 in these three bits i can put 2 here but this is not readable so i write afio map r swj control space i want a j tag to be disabled and sw to be enabled so this is the definitions that i'm going to use and if you hover your mouse over it you can see the macro expansion is two and this is the zero one zero that we have to write to these three bits now we configured pr13 and pr14 for swdio and swcl car next we're going to write the code to set our microcontrollers clock to 72 megahertz in clock in its function i'm going to explain to you rcccr and rcccfgr registers we have hsi on with the reset value of one this is the bit for enabling high speed internal clock when microcontrollers come out of reset it's one because microcontroller had to have some clock source and we're not going to change it to zero hsi ready is a bit that is set and cleared by hardware and it shows that high speed internal clock is ready to use we have hsi trim and HSI cal for calibrating high speed internal clock and we're not going to change these bits the next bit that we're going to talk about is HSE BYP for external clock sources we have two choices we can use a clock module or just use a crystal with two capacitors to create a clock with a crystal we need an inverter we need two resistors we need a crystal and two capacitors there are some four pin modules that have all these requirements if you use this kind of external clock, you provide the clock to microcontroller with just one pin and OSC out is not connected to anything. Other choice for providing an external clock is to just use a crystal with two capacitors. Because in our microcontroller, we have the inverter and RF resistor. But if you use the clock module, the internal inverter is going to be bypassed. But on blue pill, we don't have a clock module. We just have a crystal with two capacitors. So HSE BYP should be clear because we're not using a clock module. To clear the bit, first write peripheral name, then arrow operator, then register name. For clearing a bit, I use bitwise and assignment operator with not of bit mask. And bit mask is RCCCR, HSEB, control space, HSE bypass. In the right project, first write peripheral name, then arrow operator, then register name, then we're going to access the bits. Then we're going to access bit HSEBYP. I use assignment operator. I can write zero here, but I want to use definitions. RCC, CR, HSE, BYP, control space. Was later not going to be bypassed. I choose the second definition. If you hover over it, it is zero. The next thing that we're going to do is that we have to enable high speed external clock. For that, we have to set HSE on bit in RCC CR register. Then we have to check if HSE on is ready to use. For that, we have to check if HSE ready bit is set to one. And HSE ready bit is set and cleared by hardware to indicate that HSE oscillator is stable. For setting HSE on bit in right project, the first right peripheral 
name then register name then for setting i use bitwise or assignment operator with bitmask rcc cr hse on then for checking if hse on is ready we have to check hse ready bit for that we use while while hse ready bit is not set yet we have to wait here rcc cr then we have to end this with mask of bit hse ready rcc cr hse rdy if the result of this end operation is zero we want to wait here because high speed external could be damaged and doesn't work and we don't want to stop our code here we have to implement some kind of counter here so i define a variable in the start of this function this variable would be volatile of type uint 32t i'm name it counter and in the while i would end and this counter less than hex 500 then i change this while to do while and in the do part i'm gonna add one to count so until counter is less than 500 hex and until rccr hse ready is zero we're going to wait in this while remember that you have to put a semicolon at the end in the right project for setting bit hse on write peripheral name then register a name then i want to access bits then i'm going to add access hse on bit assignment operator i can write one here but i'm going to use definitions rcc cr hse on two underlines then control space hse is going to be on i want to activate it i would add the counter like the right project i would also paste the do while but i have to change it here after cr i put dot then bit then dot then hse r dy delete the definition we just need to not hse ready value we want to do the rest of operation if hse ready is one so i'm going to use the if here rcc arrow operator cr then b then hse ready so if hse ready is one we want the cpu to run the rest of code in the right project i'm going to write if rcc arrow operator cr we're going to end this with rcc cr hse -R -D -Y. if the result of this and operation doesn't equal zero it means hse ready bit is one so we want to do the rest of code the next thing that we're going to do is that we have to enable prefetch for instructions in prftbe bit in acr register of flash peripheral we have to set bit prftbe in the right project i like flash then arrow operator then acr for setting a bit i use bitwise or assignment operator with bit mask which is flash underline acr underline prftbe control space in the right project i write flash arrow operator acr dot bit dot we want to access bit prftbe i use assignment operator i can write one here but i'm going to use the definitions flash underline acr underline PR control space PRFTBE and prefetch is going to be enabled. Next is that we have to set latency for the clock that we're going to configure. Because we're going to set clock to 72 megahertz, we have to configure two wait states. So latency bits would be 010. In the right project, first I have to clear all latency bits. So I use flash ACR for clearing bits. I use bitwise and assignment operator with not of bit mask. Flash ACR L control space and I clear all latency bits, all the three bits. Then I have to set the middle bit to one. Flash ACR for setting bitwise or assignment operator with bit mask flash acr latency control space i choose bit one now latency bits are zero one zero in the right project i write flash acr dot bit dot latency i can write two here because zero one zero is two but i'm going to use definitions flash acr latency control space i want to set two wait states if you hover over this you can see it's two next step is configuring a HP pre scaler. We want it to be 1, so sys clock divided by 1 would be HCL cost. 72 MHz divided by 1 would be 72 MHz. For that, we have to configure bits HPRE, these four bits. For sys clock to not divided by anything, the most significant bit of HPRE should be 0. The 
three less significant bits doesn't matter but we're going to clear all four bits so all of them would be zero next step is clearing all hpre bits in rcc cfgr register in the right project right peripheral name arrow operator register name for clearing you, you use bitwise and assignment operator with not of bit mask rcc cfgr hp control space i choose hpre now all hpre bits are clear in the left project right peripheral name then arrow operator register name i choose bits then i want to access hpre bits i can write zero here to access definitions right peripheral name register name bit name then press control space i don't want to divide system clock so i choose sys clock not divided next step is setting apb1 prescaler to 2 so 72 megahertz divided by 2 would be 36 megahertz for pcl cov 1 for that we have to set ppre1 bits in cfgr register to 100 so hcl cov would be divided by 2 in the right project first we have to clear all ppre1 bits peripheral name register name then we use bitwise and assignment operator with not of bit mask rcc cfgr ppre1 control space i choose ppre1 so we clear all ppre1 bits then to set the most significant bit you use rcc cfgr and you use bitwise or assignment operator with bit mask rcc cfgr ppre1 control space to set the most significant bit of ppre1 which is bit 2 i can use this definition here to set the third bit of ppre1 but we have a more meaningful definition here ppre1 div2 it means hcl curve would be divided by 2 i use this in the right project right peripheral name register name then bits then we're going to access ppre1 i can write 4 here because 100 is 4 but we're going to use definitions rcc cfgr ppre1 two underlines control space hcl car divided by two next step is setting apb2 period scaler to one so hcl car divided by one would be 72 megahertz for pcl car two for that we have to set the most significant bit of ppre2 in rcc cfgr register to zero and the most significant bit is zero hcl car is not divided by anything but i'm going to clear all the bits of ppre2 in the right project write rcc cfgr for clearing i use bitwise and assignment operator with not of bit mask rcc cfgr ppre2 control space i choose the definition in the left project write rcc cfgr bit dot choose ppre2 then assignment operator rcc cfgr ppre2 two underlines control space i want it to be not divided i don't want hcl cut to be divided by anything i choose the definition then semicolon next step is setting adc period scaler to 6 so 72 megahertz divided by 6 would be 12 megahertz and remember that adc clock must be less or equal than 14 megahertz to set adc period scaler to 6 adc pre bits in cfgr registers should be 10 in the right project first we have to clear adc pre bits rcc cfgr for clearing you use bitwise and assignment operator with not of bit mask rcc cfgr adc pre semicolon then we have to set the second bit rcc cfgr for setting you use bitwise or assignment operator with bit mask rcc cfgr adc pre control space i want it to be divided by six i want pcl cut two to be divided by six to make adc clock in the left project write rcc cfgr then bit then adc pre then write assignment operator rcc cfgr adc pre two underlines control space i want pcl cut two to be divided by six then semicolon next step is setting usb pre scaler to 1.5 we have to clear bit usb pre in rcc cfgr register in the right project write rcc cfgr for clearing you use bitwise and assignment operator with not of bit mask rcc cfgr usb control space i choose usb pre this line would clear the bit usb pre in cfgr register in left project rcc cfgr then bit choose usb pre then assignment operator rcc cfgr usb pre 
control space i want pll to be divided by 1.5 next step is configuring the pre-scaler for high speed external we want hse to not divided by anything we don't want division by two so we have to clear bit pll x tpre and we have to set it to zero in cfgr register in the right project rcc cfgr for clearing bitwise and assignment operator we do it mask rcc cfgr pllx control space i choose pllx tpre this line would clear bit pllx tpre so hse is not going to divide it by anything in the right project rcc cfgr then bit pll x tpre rcc cfgr pll x control space i want hse to not divide it by anything next step is choosing source for pll we can choose hsi divided by 2 or hse we want to choose hse so bit pll src in cfgr register should be 1 in the right project rcc cfgr to set a bit use bitwise or assignment operator with bit mask pll sr control space i choose pll src in the right project write rcc cfgr bit pll src then use assignment operator rcc underline cfgr underline pll src to underline control space i want pll source to be high speed external so i choose hse next step is choosing what value we want pll input to be multiplied with pll input is 8 and we want pll output to be 72 megahertz i choose 9 here for this value to be 9 pll mul bits in rcc cfgr registers should be 0 1 1 1 so pll input is multiplied by 9 in the right project first we have to clear all pll mul bits rcc cfgr for clearing bitwise and assignment with not of bit mask rcc cfgr pll mul next we have to set all three lesser significant bits rcc cfgr bitwise or assignment for setting rcc cfgr pll mull underline control space there are some meaningful definitions here and i'm gonna use that pll mull 9 find that the definition is rcc cfgr pll mull 9 so pll input is going to be multiplied by 9 in the left project write rcc cfgr bit dot pll mull then assignment operator rcc cfgr pll mull underline underline control space i want input clock to be multiplied by 9 next step is enabling pll for enabling pll we have to set bit pll on in rcc cr register after that we have to check if pll is ready for that we have to check if pll rdy bit is set to 1 and this bit is set and clear by hardware to indicate that pll is locked in the right project rcc cr bitwise or assignment with bit mask rcc cr underline pll on so until pll ready is not set we have to wait here rcc cr we would bit wide and this with bit mask of pll ready rcc cr pll rdy if the result of this ant operation equals zero it means pll ready bit is not set yet so we want to wait here in the left project right while rcc cr then we want to access bits then we want to access bit pll rdy i put that in parentheses and i put not before it after while write semicolon next step is choosing pll clk as sysclock source for that we have to set bit sw in cfgr register to one zero so pll selected as system clock source in the right project rcc cfgr first we have to clear SW bits so bitwise and assignment with not of bit mask RCC CFGR SW then RCC CFGR bitwise or assignment operator with bit mask RCC CFGR SW underline control space I want PLL to be system clock source in the left project RCC CFGR dot bit dot SW then assignment operator RCC CFGR SW to underline control space. I want PLL to be system clock source. Next step is waiting until PLL is used as system clock source. So we have to check 
bits SWS that is set and clear by hardware. We have to wait until SWS is 10 so we know PLL is used as system clock source. So if SWS bits are 10, what would be the value of CFGR register if other bits are 0? SWS is 10, so this would be 1000. So CFGR value would be 8 in hex. Because we have to wait I use a while here another parenthesis RCC CFGR I end this with RCC CFGR SWS while the result of this end operation doesn't equal 8 in hex I want to wait here in the left project write while RCC CFGR dot beat dot SWS while this doesn't equal RCC CFGR underline SWS two underlines control space while the value of SWS bits doesn't equal this definition it means we have to wait here now in both projects clock is configured to 72 megahertz but I want a physical proof that we did that for that I'm gonna put this clock to pin PA8 which is RCC MCO we can choose this clock or PLL clock divided by 2 or HSI or HSE and we put that on RCC MCO pin and we can watch it with an oscilloscope first we have to put PA8 in alternate function push pull mode I go to main in both projects after X clock in it in the right project first we have to enable clock for GPIOA RCC APB2 ENR for setting a bit bitwise or assign with bit mask apb2 enr io control space i want to set io paen to enable gpio a clock to do that in the left project rcc arrow operator apb2 enr dot bit dot io paen use assignment operator we can put one here but i'm going to use the definition rcc apb2 enr underline io p control space i want gpio a clock to be enabled to configure pi8 in alternate function output mode we have to configure bits mod 8 and cnf8 in gpio acrh register we set mod 8 to 11 so pi8 would be output mode with max speed of 50 megahertz in the right project write gpio a crh for setting bit bitwise or with gpio crh underline mod 8 control space i want to set both bits of mod 8 two cnf bits are going to be 10 so pi PR8 would be in alternate function output push pull mode. In the right project, first we have to clear both CNF bits. GPIO CRH for clearing bitwise and assignment with not of bit mask. GPIO CRH underline CNF8. Control space, then semicolon. Then we have to set bit 1. GPIO A CRH for setting bit bitwise or assignment with GPIO CRH underline. CNF8 underline control space we want to set bit 1 so CNF would be 10 to do that in the left project write GPIOA CRH dot bit dot mode 8 then use assignment operator GPIO underline CRH underline mode X underline I want PA8 to be in output mode I want PA8 to be in output mode with max speed of 50 megahertz and it would be alternate function push boot. so I choose choose this definition next we have to configure mco bits in cfgr register so sys clock would be on pi8 pin for that mco bits would be 100 in the right project first we have to clear all mco bits in the right project first we have to clear all mco bits rcc cfgr for clearing bitwise and assignment with not of bit mask rcc cfgr mco then we have to set bit 2 of mco RCC CFGR bitwise or assignment for setting RCC CFGR MCO control space I can use this definition to set bit 2 or the third bit of MCO but this definition exists and it's more readable so we have sys clock on MCO pin in the left project write RCC arrow operator CFGR dot bit dot MCO then assignment operator RCC CFGR MCO 
underline underline control space I want this clock to be on MCOP compile the two projects then we're going to load the code go to debug configuration double click on this and then debug and run the code and we can see the clock on PI 8 pin then I exit the debug perspective here then load the code on the left project click on debug configuration double click on this then debug run the code I can't see the clock on PI 8 so I stop the code the problem is that in the left project we never set the PLL on bit so I stop the code before waiting for PLL ready to be set by hardware add this line rccr.bit.pll on rccr underline pll on underline underline control space I want pll to be on then compile again go to debug perspective then run the code now we can see the 72 megahertz clock